What up, YouTube? Team Moose here. Since this month, I'm doing my reviews for, uh, you know, past March films. Here is my review for the 2000 action film, Romeo Must Die. Now, Romeo Must Die is a film that stars Ma um, martial arts legend Jet Li, along with the late singer Aaliyah. You also had uh, DMX was in this. Now, it's a bit like a martial arts uh, take on, you know, Shakespeare's uh, classic Romeo and Juliet tale, where this, uh, in this film, you have this ex-policeman uh, who is jailed for a crime he uh, didn't commit, and, of course, the policeman is portrayed by Jet Li, uh, and he ends up breaking out to avenge his uh, brother's death in America, and he ends up meeting this uh, woman named uh, Trisho uh, Day, and they, of course, fall in love, and she helps them uh, in a search, and her father also knows more about, uh, you know, uh, Jet about uh, the brother's death than uh, he should have. So, uh, you know, he, so they both uh, are in war to, uh, you know, to chase down the, uh, you know, uh, people responsible for uh, the death. Anyway, Romeo Must Die is a really fun action film. You know, the film was directed by, I always mispronounce this director's name, but Andres uh, uh, Bardo Wesk, uh, Wecho Wack, who also directed films such as, uh, this was actually his directorial debut, uh, but after this movie, he directed films like Exit Wounds, uh, you know, with Steven Seagal, which I believe that also had DMX in it. Uh, he also did Cradle to the Grave, which I enjoy, which also had Jet Li and DMX in it. Uh, he, he has not really had the best track record lately because he did give us the Dwayne, the uh, Dwayne Johnson film Doom, as well as Street Fighter Legend of Chun, uh, Chun Li, Maximum Impact, uh, Dead Reckoning. So, yeah, his credit lately has not been the best. But his earliest movies, uh, Romeo Must Die, Exit Wounds, and Credit to the Grave are pretty awesome. Anyway, now, of course, this film actually premiered back on March 22nd, uh, 2000, um, you know, 2000, uh, yeah, 2000. And in it, you also had, uh, Delroy Lindo, who's, of course, uh, should have gotten an Oscar nomination for, uh, The Five Bloods, but sadly he didn't. Uh, he actually plays the, uh, father of, uh, Aaliyah's character. Uh, you had Russell, Russell Wong, uh, D.B. Woodside, you had Anthony Anderson, uh, Terry Chan was in this. Uh, you even had, uh, John Ross Fong, who plays the young version of, uh, Jet Li's Han character. Um, Aaliyah's really sad that her life was cut tragic to short. Sadly, she only had, uh, I believe she was only in two movies, uh, before her death. Uh, she was in this and that, uh, vampire film, Queen of the Dam. I wish, uh, her, you know, she would live longer, because I would have loved to have seen her in more movies, because I thought Aaliyah was awesome in this. You know, her chemistry with Jet Li is really intriguing, and it's pretty cool, because this was, like, one of the very first, uh, films where you actually uh, saw a romance uh, interest between an Asian uh, character and a black character. I, I, you rarely see that in uh, in much films that day. So I know that was like the interracial uh, relationship between the two was really interesting. Uh, DMX, I love DMX in this. I mean, DMX is not getting much credit as an actor. You know, I think DMX, when he really wants to, DMX is an awesome actor. You know, uh, I thought he was great in this. Uh, credit to the Grave he was great in. Uh, Exit Wounds. I mean, I love DMX, you know? Uh, but anyway, this film, it, you know, has some really cool uh, choreographed action um, scenes. Uh, has some really cool uh, moments here. Uh, it's part romance, I guess, to put, and part action. Uh, yeah, Jet Li. I've always loved Jet Li. I mean, he's definitely one of the best martial arts actors there is. Uh, he's been so many great stuff over the years. I mean, him and um, Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee are probably some of the best, you know, martial based, uh, martial arts based actors of all time. And this movie is such a fun film uh, to watch. Sadly, the reviews did not do so well though. Uh, it only has like a thirty-two percent of Rotten Tomatoes. It's actually more better with audience, like more audience actually appreciate Romeo Must Die more than uh, the critics did. But I still always got a kick out of this film. Uh, you even had Isaiah Washington was in this movie, too. I mean, it, I mean, it's been a while since I've actually seen this movie. Alright. But I remember watching this uh, one time on TV. I used to always get a kick out of it. It's a really cool straight-ahead um, action movie here. Uh, it's such a really cool film to watch. 
I mean, it's definitely like I said, it is a bit of a uh, you know a re like a martial arts retelling of the classic, um, you know, of the classic Shakespearean tale Romeo Must Die. I guess I you could definitely see how it's um uh, you know how it's an action a version of it. But that's if you guys have never really seen Romeo Must Die yet, I'm not really sure where you can find that. Uh, it doesn't really t um you can oh you can actually find it on HBO Max. Uh you can watch on Fandango now, Voodoo, Prime Video, Apple TV, go watch it. I didn't go enjoy it. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen Romeo Must Die? If so, what's the Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? What were some of your favorite parts in it? Uh drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is your Simu Sign Out.